We've got a little bit different of video today. Uh, I was searching around for some crappie up on this far part of the river and I ran into a big pile of walleye. Don't you hate when that happens? So today I get to show off the brand new one piece six and a half ACC crappie sticks rod um, and then show off the old margarita. This is the small fry by Crappie Monster, which this video is sponsored by Crappie Monster. You go to crappiemonster.com, use promo code DAVIS, all capital letters, D-A-V-I-S, get you 20% off your entire order. Get the margarita, pick up the net. We're gonna need the net today. I've already got one 15 and a half inch walleye in the box. They gotta be 15 to keep. Oh, we gotta record the screen here. That's what we gotta do. I don't know if you can see the colors on the shoreline, but we're in the first week of October here. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's about 45 foot up. There's a stump, and it just looks like a mess right now because it's so shallow. And there's, there's unfortunately, there's pretty good sediment coming through the water right now. But you can see there's fish right on the bottom. We got a decent amount of current too. So, but I'm only using a 16th ounce jig, just a super light jig, just barely bouncing it and they're coming off the bottom and just smacking it. I might have missed them. There he is, right below the boat. Oh, it's a little guy. That is not the keeper we want. I noticed this morning, I was actually duck hunting on these islands this morning and I was using the floodlight to get in here. I noticed a ton of bait fish, basically this size and maybe a little bit bigger, like two to three, three and a half inches. And that is my guess, that's what these walleye are feeding on. That's why I'm not throwing a big four or five inch bait. I'm just trying to match those bait fish that I saw this morning. Oh, one's following it. Here we go. See him? Come on, take it. There he is. These are little guys. Where's the big, I need the keepers. These might be a little too heavy for this six pound mono. This is a crappie setup, so you gotta be a little careful when flipping fish. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna keep. He looks like a 12. He's a 13 incher. Be a great crappie, not a great walleye. There I am falling down. I think there's a bunch of fish in that. Nothing moved though. Dang. Oh, something moved. I didn't even see it on the last scope. Oh, I think this is a better fish. He's st staying down. Oh yeah, there's our keeper. I think, I'm pretty sure that's a 15. Dang, he might be short. He's gonna be close though. Well, these hooks are sticky, that's for sure. I think he's gonna be short. Yeah, he's a, ooh, he's a 14. He's gonna go back, see you buddy. Well, it's the next day. Um, I, unfortunately I didn't catch a keeper walleye. I caught a ton of shorts, ton of shorts. But the main purpose of wanting to film in shallow water was I did get a message on Facebook uh, asking for advice on a, a unit and it was just gonna be one unit for their boat, uh, whether they should get the unit with side imaging or not. They apparently were instructed by somebody at either Bass Pro Shops or Academy, I'm not really sure. This was down in, I think it was down in Florida, that because they fish super shallow lakes, they didn't need side imaging. Well, as you can see, I'm in two feet of water and you can still see the, the little sand dunes because of the current. We're gonna get a little bit deeper here in about four foot of water, five foot of water, and we're gonna see if these walleye are still here. But, man, that's bad advice. I, I strongly disagree with the advice they were given. If you're gonna spend five, six, seven hundred dollars on a sonar unit, and it's gonna be your one unit for your boat, whether it's a tiller engine, or maybe you got a little John boat or something, I highly recommend, get the side imaging. You're gonna use it. It still works in shallow water. You can still see left and right. Um, once we get up here where there's 
a little bit deeper. We're going to get into about four or five feet of water. You're going to see the trees on sonar. You're going to see those walleye sitting in the troughs behind these little sand dunes. And uh, crappie, you can still see crappie in shallow water. So I highly recommend getting something with side imaging if you're going to spend the money. Um, little jigs that we were using today, those or yesterday, those crappie monster small fry, they work for walleye. 16th ounce ACC jigs. You know, I'm, I'm fishing five, six foot or less. Perfect jig size to just kind of roll with this current and just keep popping it. But appreciate you watching. I'm going to work on catching a, a keeper walleye. I could run down to the big river, but it's going to be it's going to be pretty big chop down there with this wind. So be sure if you're going to get some, be sure to pick up some Crappie Monster small fry or whatever plastics that you want on their website at crappiemonster.com. Also, get the net. I know everybody needs a net. I, I have both. They have a scoper model and an outlaw model. The scoper uh, is a four foot model that extends to six foot. So it's really nice if you want to put it in your rod locker in your boat or something. The outlaw is meant for you guys that either are guides or uh, use those long crappie rods. It's a, I think it combats down to about five and a half feet and then it extends to either a six foot or a six and a half foot option or all the way to 12 foot. So highly recommend getting one of those nets. Here we go, side imaging, ooh, don't show the waypoints. Here we go, it's just side imaging right here. We got a tree in 4.2 feet of water. Yes, side imaging works in four feet of water. You got a tree right here, we're gonna zoom out a touch. There's fish, I don't know if you can see them, there's branches there and then there's those bright spots. Those are fish on the backside of that tree. And those bright spots that look like grains of rice, those are fish all on top of that tree. Do I even have that tree marked? I do not have that tree marked. Let's throw a waypoint on that. I'm gonna have to blur out the waypoint. Blur out that waypoint, I don't need to share it. Here we go, just a pot of fish right here. I can probably turn that off. Right there, pot of fish on the bottom. And then we got fish suspended. You can see the shadows of these fish. These are suspended up in the, wa in the water column. That's why they got those longer shadows. Side imaging works in shallow water. So I don't know, to the person that messaged me on fa Facebook, I don't know who you talk to at Bass Pro Shops or Academy. I don't care if it's a lake in Florida that's only got four feet of water. You can use side imaging to see fish. Look at all these fish stacked up. Look at all of them stacked up in seven foot of water. So. It works. Appreciate you watching. Check out the ACC Crappie Sticks one piece, six foot and six and a half foot rods. And uh, be sure to go to crappiemonster.com. Use promo code DAVIS, D A V I S, all capital letters, get you 20% off the entire website. We'll see you in the next one.